from a distance Cochabamba in central Bolivia, covered by a perennial gray cloud of pollution produced mostly by cars. The city is super polluted because we have so many cars that sometimes you cannot move. There are a lot of traffic jams and that makes the air polluted. But there's new hope. Cleaner air may be in the future for the nearly 1.4 million inhabitants of this metropolitan area. That's because Bolivia now is the first domestic electric vehicle manufacturer. We do have an agreement with YLB, which is a state-owned company in charge of industrializing the lithium. So what we want to, to, to fulfill is to have the batteries in order to export to the whole continent. So in this regard, we'll be able to have a product, the whole car, not only the battery, but the car, that is made in the continent. Bolivia has the largest reserve of lithium in the world, estimated to total some 21 million tons. Currently, companies from China, the United States and Russia are competing in a bid to partner with Bolivia to commercially mine the resource. We need the production, mass production, industrial production. That's why these six companies, four from China, one from US and one from Russia, they are here in Bolivia in order to establish a direct lithium extraction in order to have mass productions till 2024. Quantum's strategy is to seize this unity and promote carbon dioxide free transportation as create its own market niche. Beyond Bolivia, the company also has operations in Mexico, Peru, Paraguay and El Salvador. This Quantum City car is almost seven times cheaper than a Tesla, which makes it more affordable for people in poor countries and small businesses. It requires little maintenance, can charge using a standard outlet found in most homes, and cost 29 US cents for every 50 kilometers. A move away from fossil fuels could also help boost Bolivia's economy. It now heavily subsidizes gas for its citizens and has been forced to pay more as international prices for oil have risen. The country also produces more electricity than it needs, so the infrastructure is already there to support more electric vehicles. But perhaps the greatest benefit of a switch to electric vehicles is for the planet. Every EV that replaces a gas-powered car prevents more carbon emissions for polluting the air. Multiplied by many over, that could indeed help clean the air in one of the most polluted cities in Latin America. Monica Machical, CGTN, Cochabamba, Bolivia.